Hey guys, I'm Lily Jane and I decided to do the 100 head, 100 head challenge. Yikes. <laughs> Basically, you draw 10 heads every day for 10 days and get 100 heads. Um, 10 is more than I thought it was. 100 is way more than I thought it was. I heard the challenge and I was like, oh yeah, I can do that. That sounds easy. I bet it won't even take a lot of time. And the first few days I was spending like 20 minutes on each portrait and that adds up so fast. It, I just, it's so much time. And so towards the end, I got it down to like five minutes each one. Um, yeah, they were fun. I really liked it. In the end, I stuck with these pen drawings because they took the least amount of time to get to a point where I liked the way that they looked. Um, I tried some gouache ones and some watercolor portraits and they were really fun and I really liked doing them. They just took too much time. So I stuck with these pen ones. I watched a ridiculous amount of Sherlock and Doctor Who. Like you don't understand how many hours of it I just watched. Uh, I kind of got bored of listening to music and podcasts, so I ended up watching shows and things running in the background. So my little sister hadn't seen Sherlock yet, so I sat her down while I was drawing these and we watched the entire show and like four seasons of Doctor Who. It was a lot and I'm kind of burnt out now. <laughs> um, but yeah, these portraits that are coming up were so fun because towards the beginning there were just a lot of really young looking people and so it was really fun to do these like old gnarly looking men with lots of wrinkles and, and fun facial features that I usually wouldn't have gone out of my way to draw or find references for and so it was, it was fun. Totally out of my comfort zone, not usually what I do at all, but I had a lot of fun with them. On the fourth day, I pulled out the gouache again because I was getting bored of these black and white portraits. As fun and as fast as they were, I really liked paint and I like using color and so I used gouache on this one and then remembered how long it takes when you have 10 of them to do. So I ended up just doing, I think just one in gouache and then going back to sort of simpler portraits. So for this one, I pulled out the watercolors again. I had done two earlier that I didn't film with watercolor and I really liked how they turned out, but they just took too long. So for these ones, I just threw down some color really quick, waited for it to dry, um, and then did details with pen, but I didn't really like how it turned out, so I didn't do another one of those.
this is about halfway through, uh, or it is halfway through, and uh, I pulled out the gouache again. Again, like, I just get super bored of black and white portraits, and they, I love looking at other people's, but I hate doing them. Um, but it was the way that I had figured out to do it quickly, so yeah, so I pulled out the gouache for this 50th one, and then I went back to the pen drawings, and I like how it turned out. It doesn't look exactly like the picture, um, so kind of a relief you can't see it, <laughs> but they, I really liked working on this one. to just pencil drawings for a bit they weren't done super super well but what had happened is I got so burnt out from drawing faces that I, t I ended up not drawing any one day and just doubling down the next couple so um, this was a bit of a catch-up <laughs> and um, yeah so I could do it I figured I could do it faster with just pencil than I could with pen I don't like them as much but I got them done so I'm fine with it So on this portrait, my mom was getting rid of these like twistable crayons that everyone had in elementary school. They're a pain in the butt to use, but they were simple. I didn't have to really think about them. Um, it was fun to have a limited palette. Just it made it so I could put in color in these portraits without feeling like pressured to make it look beautiful because something about using children's crayons just made it feel easier to mess up and have it be okay um and that's something that I totally feel like was a good thing for me in this challenge was being like okay this doesn't look exactly like the like the picture that's okay there's too many of these I have to move on I have to just accept that I'm gonna have a mistake in this or I'm gonna have this portrait that just looks nothing like it was supposed to and that is okay we can move on <laughs>
so towards the beginning of the challenge, and I think I said this at the beginning, but there were so many just smooth, soft faces that to get these wrinkly old men felt like such a relief. But even after like a while of these, they got really boring to do. I feel like this challenge, like there are so many old men. I think it would have been so fun to draw some old wrinkly women, um, which I feel like, I don't know, like I never, I'm gonna have to go draw a bunch of them because I feel like I missed out on this challenge. Um, it just, it got, it felt so old and, uh, I don't know, I just got so bored with drawing these gnarly men. I just think it would have been so fun to either draw some, like, gnarly women or some just old stately women. I just got really bored of, I don't know, towards the end they seem like they all have the same facial features too. <laughs> last page 
I was so excited when I got to this point. I was like, heck yeah, I'm almost done. Only a few more to go. And then I can draw anything else, <laughs> anything but a face. So I ended up using these crayons that my mom gave me and they kept things really, really simple and quick while also letting me use color, heck yeah. Um, so that was really nice and they were fun. I really liked how some of, some of these turned out good. Some of them didn't. Um, but again, that was like a really good thing I learned from this challenge is I think just accepting that I'm going to make mistakes in my sketchbook and it's okay. And it's a place where I'm allowed to make mistakes and have mistakes stay and not feel bad for them. So... So this is the last phase. Originally, I thought I was going to paint this one, but by the time I got here, I was just like, done. <laughs> so I did these crayon ones again. I was like, this is it. I'm not doing another phase for another hundred years. I can't do it. But yeah, I feel like I learned a lot through it. Um, just some of the stuff I've already said and learning how to draw and get shapes down just really quickly. Um, I think that was super useful having just a, a schedule for my drawing I think was also a really good thing for me so those are those are some things I'm I'm happy I came out with but yeah here's the flip through 